week, I noticed a bunch of new people signing up for my program. And I am really impressed when I see all of a sudden a burst of new people that join. And what often happens is something changed. Now in matchmaking, I will tell you it's often weather related. When the season changes, more people decide they're ready for something more. If they want a difference in relationship, we're falling into the fall season. So it's cuddle season. The weather is changing outside. The days are getting shorter. So therefore people start to think, Hey, I should be more proactive on my dating experiences. So I often get a lot of new people this time of year. I am Jacqueline, founder and creator of Discover Love Matches. And what I find is fascinating is when there are these different surges of people, all of a sudden the memo gets out and everyone's ready to get back into the dating groove. Well, I had another experience that really caught me off guard and I was so, so pleasantly surprised by it. I was talking to a new gal that had filled out a profile on our site at discoverlovematches.com. And when I followed up with her, she said that she is part of a Facebook group that a bunch of people were just kind of frustrated with dating. They were wondering like, how do you meet good people? Where do you go? What do you do? And someone anonymously piped on and said they knew about me and my agency and they had wonderful things to say. And I don't know who this was. I don't know what they actually said, but she said it was so nice to see that there was somebody out there to talk about my agency because she didn't know I existed. And the neat thing about that was, is that she took it into digging in and listening to more of the comments. And she said, actually, multiple people commented about my agency and that I, I am the answer for the Pacific Northwest for matchmaking. I am the one who goes above and beyond for my clients. And I really loved it because the person that posted this message to get the word out has no idea their ripple effect that now I have clients because she cared or he cared anonymously enough to post something about what I do. And that is what I think we need to start doing more often, anonymous or not, but we need to let other people know our opinion of things that we like, things, experiences, services that we like, places we like to go to, because I know myself, I am way more likely to accept a recommendation from a friend, a social connection than I am from some commercial out there. I mean, they do say the social media is really the biggest way to get that influence happening. And I am so privileged because I have very, very wonderful experiences. 13 and a half years of matchmaking has brought me lots of great couples, lots of marriages. And, you know, seeing these couples that have come together, knowing they never would have met if it wasn't for them being a part of my agency and trusting the process. But it also took them a moment to find out who I was and what was going on. So in our program, when somebody fills out their profile, they answer how they heard about us. So it always intrigues me how people learn about my agency. Uh, Google's very good to us. People are always asking, where do we find a lot of our clients? And we just get a lot of people that are proactive in their dating journey. But also sometimes you need like a little side comment in a chat box like this gal did that she was in a chat group, I should say, that helped her think, hey, I should check this out. It's hard to put yourself out there vulnerably for dating and you want more success, but whomever this anonymous person was, I want to say thank you. Thank you very much because that person has now inspired more people. Yes, of course, I love to see my business really grow, but it also really touched my heart that somebody cared enough to say, this is the answer to your dating needs and questions, and that they did it with no expectation of acknowledgement in return. Because I am one of gratitude, I am very thankful. I don't know who this person is to say thank you. I don't even know what else was said in the thread of this Facebook group, but I do know that somebody was positively impacted by this message. And I also know that others have come to me recently that I think could have come from that group. They haven't said so because people always keep it pretty private how they learn about me. But I just want to say, take the time to do a shout out to the businesses that you like. Tell people why they should go to your favorite restaurant. Tell people why they should go and get 
get the favorite clothing or jewelry or your favorite little hole in the wall place that you really enjoy. Be that person who helps a positive ripple effect happen to a business in your area, a business online, a entertainer, a provider, whatever it is that you really enjoy let other people in on the scoop so that that business can enjoy the benefits. But there's just nothing like the best compliment of somebody with nothing to gain for themselves, but a generous heart and spirit wanting to say, hey, I know the answer of where you should go. So have you got some businesses that you should send a little like referral on, do a little video, do a little, you know, tag in a post about what is it that you're doing to help positive impact on the ripple of relationship possibilities in the love world. I am so grateful because I get lots of referrals. I have been very blessed with that, but I usually know who the person is referring. They're either a longtime friend, a colleague, somebody I've worked with, or they are a success story. So this was neat because it was somebody, I have no clue who they are. I've touched a lot of lives in the years I've worked. And also knowing that they were not even reaching out to anybody specific. They were just kind of telling the group that by being a part of my agency, there were positive possibilities available. So shout out to those that care to do the extra and then some. Let me know what businesses and services you have been wanting to promote and tell people about. I would love for you to like, comment, and subscribe because we've got to keep this conversation going because this is how we all make the right connections. I'm looking forward to seeing and hearing and reading what it is that you are doing to make a positive ripple in the direction of your dreams.